What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going through and talking about and sharing with you the Xbox 360 video games that I just purchased to resell. There is a ton of games here. I only paid $20 for the lots and she threw in a lot of extra stuff as well. So of course I went and met with her. I picked them up and after looking at them, I looked up sold comps for only one of the games. There definitely is profit to be made, but let's just get straight into this. Up first is for Skylanders, this is Skylanders Swap Force. This game here, I know nothing about Skylanders. I know it was popular when I was a kid, I just never got into it myself. And I know they had them for almost all the consoles at the time, the Wii, PS3, Xbox 360, you name it, they probably had it for it at the time. Now she did throw in about 30 to 40 of the little figures as well. And there's three portals. One of them, it does say the Wii U, so it's not for the Xbox 360. The other two say they are for the Xbox 360. I don't know what they're worth. I didn't look up sold comps. I don't know if there's any special figures or rare figures. I think I'm just gonna lot it all together. I'm hoping to get maybe 25 to $30 for that lot. Uh, all of the Skylanders, the game, and the three portals but I honestly don't know what it's worth. I know the Disney game portals and figures that I bought a long time ago, I think a year ago, I think I sold those in bundles uh, for $50, and then I had the Lego game, Lego Dimensions with the portal and the figures, I sold that for $50. This is older, I don't know anything about it. It's a lot more figures than I had before, but I don't know, maybe $25 is about right what I can get for it. It's for the 360, so it's a little bit older uh, than the figures and that that I had before. So still, that would mean I would have $25. Uh, that'd be $5 profit. I only paid $20 for this whole lot, so that'd be pretty decent if I could get $25 for the Skylander lot. Next is the only game that I looked up sold comps for, and that is Spider-Man Friends, uh, Friend or Foe. Any Spider-Man game that I found usually does pretty decent. Um, this one here, I think I looked up sold comps, and I think it's for around $30 to $40. Hopefully I can sell it for $30 plus shipping, and I'll probably uh, put it on eBay individually instead of in a bundle or a lot. Um, this one here should be able to ship Canada $3.19, no tracking, to the US about $10, and if it's tracking in Canada it's $14, and to the US it's $18. Of course the buyer would pay that, but this game here, maybe $30, um, I'm not sure, but that would be a really nice game. That's why I decided to purchase this whole lot, is based on the sold comps of this one game. Next, there is two copies of the Lego movie in here. Of course, they're just loose inside this case, so not worth too much there. And then we have another one that has no cover on it, just the case, and that is Gears of War for the 360. Again, that one's gonna be a tough sale. That Those ones would likely be bundled together. And of course, you always get sports games in these bundles. So we have NHL 10, NHL 12, and we do have Madden 13. So out of this whole bundle, only three sports games. That's not bad, but sports games I definitely try to avoid whenever I can. Now for the other games, we do have Plants vs. Zombies. Garden Warfare, I did have this one before for the Xbox One and sold it. I can't remember how much that was for, but not a huge profit on this game, but maybe $5. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to look up some sold comps. Some of these games, they might sell for more on eBay, but chances are I'll bundle them together and put them on Facebook Marketplace for about $5 each, or a bundle if somebody were to take them all. We have Diablo. I'm not sure if it's Diablo 3 or just Diablo. Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2010, uh, Fallout New Vegas, the Ultimate Edition, uh, Rogue Warrior, I know nothing about that, Medal of Honor Limited Edition, we have Dark Siders 2, I thought this was Star Wars for a minute whenever I first seen it, but it's Warhammer Batter Mar Battle March. Stuttering there. Uh, Dragon Age Origins. I actually have this one for sale for the PS3 as well. Uh, Dante's Inferno. I actually sold this, the PS3 version, for 15, 14 or $15 plus shipping on eBay. So maybe about the same. I'm not sure if the sold comps for the 360 are uh, about the same or not. 
Uh, we do have the Elder Scrolls 4 and it's heavy so I'm assuming yeah there's two discs and a thick manual and likely the map in that as well. So that's cool. That one will cost a little bit more to ship if I sell it individually. Sniper Ghost Warrior. Roos. I don't know nothing about that game. Uh, Need for Speed The Run. Very interest, interesting concept for uh, Need for Speed, but it's not the best Need for Speed game. And then Mass Effect 2, at least it's not Mass Effect 3. I always in these bundles seem to find Mass Effect 3, and I think I have two or three copies of them to sell for the PS3 right now. And the last game is um, for Forza Motorsports 3 uh, Platinum Edition. So that's really cool. All of these games I think will sell fairly good. Dante's Inferno, I'm expecting to get maybe $14 to $15 for it, just like I did for the PS3 version. The Spider-Man game, again, $30. The Skylanders, maybe around $25. The rest of the games, I'm going to likely try to list them. Of course, not the sports games or the ones that don't have the uh, covers or manuals. I'll probably try to list those for $5 each on Facebook Marketplace. Or bundle them with some of the Xbox 360 consoles that I have just to make the consoles sell a little bit faster. But for $20 for all of these games and the Skylander figures, I think that's definitely worth it in my opinion. Comment down below what you guys think. But $20 and getting a ton of games, I think that is a great deal. So I'll try to get about $5 each for some of the other games. $30 for Spider-Man, sell that on eBay. The Skylander is about $25 for the whole lot of 30 plus figures, the three portals, and the game, and maybe Dante's Inferno listed on eBay for $14. So that still is some decent money. Even with eBay fees, the games that I am going to sell on eBay, I should at least be able to double my money, which is why I decided to purchase this lot. Originally, she had it on for $25. She's about 30 minutes away from me, so it'd be a 30 minute drive. And I said I was interested, but I didn't know when I was going to be in the area next. A couple days later, she messaged saying, I actually dropped the price to $20, and in, I'm going to include all of these Skylander figures if you're interested. So I decided, let's just make the 30-minute drive, go and get all this stuff, because it's $5 cheaper, and she included all of the figures for Skylanders as well that she had. So I thought it was a great deal. Comment down below if you guys did as well. And I can't wait to list these and start to sell them. I've been selling a lot more recently, and now that I'm going back to work full time, buying and selling is going to become, instead of my main goal, it's gonna be like my side business, my side hustle, trying to get some extra money coming in. So Facebook Marketplace is the way to go. I don't have to deal usually with shipping. I don't have any fees. I don't have to deal with taxes and that sort of thing. And it's just extra money coming in on the side of my full time job. But I do like to buy and sell, and I do have a ton of stuff for sale, but some days before going back to work were about a $200 day. I don't think I'm going to have one of those days for a long time, just because that's a lot of things that I sold during the day, or a lot of my more expensive items. It's hard for me to go and be able to find the, these items now because I'm working, and times to go and meet people now that I'm working nights. It's very limited of when I can actually go and pick up these lots, and other people, if they work during the day, I likely won't be able to pick up from them. So it's been uh, hard lately finding stuff, but at least I found these Xbox 360 games and I can't wait to start listing them and selling them. And who knows, I didn't look up any sold comps on most of the games, only the Spider-Man games. So maybe some of them, there's a hidden gem somewhere and it will be able to sell for a little bit more. And maybe those Skylander figures, I'd be able to get a little bit more from them. I'll let you guys know in the future if anything does sell and my overall profit for all these games. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.